I'm John Pankhurst, the morning marketing man. And today's video is part two on how to drive traffic to your e-commerce website using Google AdWords and Google Merchant ID. You're gonna need probably one of these to get through this video, a strong cappuccino, because there's an awful lot of setup. But the return on investment for you will be huge. It will automate part of your online marketing funnel. If you enjoy this video or it's given you value that you can take away and add to your business, please like or share. If you're watching on YouTube, please click the subscribe button because every new subscriber to me encourages me to release more content like this and add value back to my community. Let's get stuck right into this. This is part two of my tips and tricks on how to get your products listed onto the front page of Google using Google Ads sending traffic to your Google Merchant account. Of course, you're gonna need a website that actually can sell your products online, but this video doesn't cover that. We will be doing another video on e-commerce solutions later on. Number one, what will you need? So let's log in to merchants.google.com, go straight to the home page, and then what we need to do is look at products, go into feeds, and you can see here I've got my content API feed. And we're using an automated service which pushes in about 100,000 products. But for this example, I'm going to show you how to create a feed manually. We've got United Kingdom selected, English as the default language and up the top here, so products. So I'm gonna click continue. So we've got some options here. The first one is Google Sheets, scheduled fetch where we will actually, Google would pull the feed from FTP from our site. We're not gonna use that. You could upload it manually as well, but we're gonna use Google Sheets. So we've got to keep it on brand, of course. So let's call it Morning Marketing Man and click continue. We're gonna generate a new Google spreadsheet from a template. It will use your Google account to create the sheet, which Google will then pull the information. So I'm gonna copy something I've saved earlier and paste it into this new sheet. So once it's created, I'm gonna paste in the one that I've made earlier. And then let's look at this in more detail. The title is important because it's linking directly to the title that's in the landing page. The description is also very important because that's matching up exactly with the description that's lower down in the web page. The link is pretty obvious, but it is a link directly to the product that they're looking to buy. The condition is new. The price is 67 pounds 34. That's very important that that matches exactly. And that includes VAT, very important. This field contains a link to the image that will be displayed within Google Shopping. That obviously is very important too. We don't have a GTIN. NPN, that's a manufacturing part number. That is the same as our ID, and that is would be different for you depending on the product you're selling. Photo for me. And then the Google product category Again, this is another area that can really be tripped up. That's the, the section of Google where you want your products to be displayed. And then the last column is the shipping price. So once you're happy with your feed, you've just got to fetch it. This may take some time. So what we're going to do now is come back when this feed is completely fetched. After about a minute with one product, we found that our feed has come back and all the processing has been done. Now we do have a warning. It's saying that the item uploaded has is actually within multiple feeds and that is because that product is actually currently in our API and that is why it's showing up. If we got to go into the list of products, we can search for that now. So if I take this ID from the feed, drop it into the merchant center and filter on the right hand side by item ID, So now we're filtering on that product ID. I can actually see what I've uploaded. And the danger on the right hand side is that shopping ad is not displaying. So I need to go back into Google Ads and create a campaign that targets that product. Number two, how to create the Google Ads campaign that will drive traffic specifically to your Google Merchant account. 
So first of all, you need to head over to Google Ads. We're going to log straight into photo for mes ad account. We're going to look at the shopping campaigns only today. You can see we've had about 9,000 impressions in search just in today. We're going to look into campaigns. I'm going to add a campaign, click new campaign. Feature is sales we're looking for and then shopping. It will hook up with your merchant ID here. So you can see it's now loaded there. Our photo for me account. And then I'm going to click continue using the smart campaign builder. I'm just going to give this campaign a standard test marketing man. I'm going to set a daily budget of five pounds. And I'm going to end the campaign tomorrow. So I'm going to save and continue. So you can see at the right hand side we've got pictures of London. What I actually want to do here is create a campaign for dogs. So I'm just going to filter my campaign on my products. Now you can see I've got a picture of a dog. I need to upload a logo for photo for me. This will identify it as we're starting to retarget. We'll be able to use photo for me's logo in that campaign. Just brand it. Let's call this man's best friend. Long headline. Hmm. Let's think about that. Yeah, a wonderful collection of all art. It's a longer description and also entice people to buy from it. Final URL. Now we're going to send this back to the main home page. But there are better options you can use for remarketing. You could send it back to the product or potentially into a search function or to the cart. There's plenty of things you can do there. Okay, so we're going to click save. And this will now redirect you back to your campaigns. And you will see it running a wonderful collection of wall art. You can filter on products. And you'll start to see that they're going to match up with your Google Merchant products that you've already uploaded. And that's the basics of setting up a Google Ads campaign that will send traffic to your Merchant ID. If you found that this video has given you some content that can go away and really add value to your business, please like or share on Facebook. If you're following me on YouTube, please subscribe. And if you've got time, please click the little bell.